in this tip of the day, let's take a look at using a zigzag ramp approach when using high speed pocketing. Now to do this, simply head over to the command manager, select stock tool pass, and then high speed pocketing. I'm going to select the boundary of the pocket as well as the boundary of the island and then right hand mouse click. Now let's take a look at the tool parameters. We already have the tool in turret position number one. I'm happy with the speeds and feeds and the diameter. Let's click next on that. Our depth of cut looks great. Our clearance planes look great. So we'll click next on that. We're going to be using high speed close pocketing for this. We'll click next. And for the approach style, let's use ramp zigzag. I'm going to use an angle of three degrees. We'll click next on that. For step over, 75% is fine. Why don't we leave 10 thousandths on the pocket wall? All this looks great. We'll click next on that. We don't need an extra finish pass, so I'm going to leave this set to none. We'll click finish, and there we go. Let's turn off our fixture layer, zoom in a little bit, and why don't we simulate this? We're going to take our cursor, right hand mouse click on toolpath group, select simulate. I'm going to use the solid model I created earlier for stock. We'll click OK. Here's our zigzag ramp approach, and now the high speed pocketing. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And don't forget to click the subscribe button.